I have two children who are actively starting to flex their muscles with reading and I wanted to create a simple space that invited them to read and explore stories on their own terms. So the very first thing I did was I went to Amazon and I looked up all the different things that I wanted to potentially put in this space. I wound up buying a couple of things and also DIYing some others. The first thing that I purchased was this little bookshelf, this book display, and I went ahead and started to put that together. <laughs> My oldest daughter wanted to help me, so she did that for all of 10 minutes. Good, we did it. One piece down, the rest to go. And then, about halfway through the process, I realized that some of my boards were backwards. So I had to unscrew and redo some of the project. But essentially, if I had done it correctly, it probably would have taken me about 20 minutes to complete. It was really, really simple to put together. One of the things that I absolutely love about it is that it's really sturdy, surprisingly sturdy for a piece of furniture that is not made out of real wood. I think it's melamine is what it's called. But I really appreciated the fact that it seems sturdy enough to hold up over time, especially in the midst of very busy and excitable children like mine. <laughs> Jesse, get down, boo-boo. Once this little book display was all put together, I put it up against the wall and it just felt like the wall was missing something. Now this part of the project is definitely optional, but I decided to go ahead and paint a little rainbow arc on the wall and my children definitely affirmed it. They were the ones who said, mommy, I think we should paint something here. I wanted the rainbow to be somewhat neutral, but also have touches of color in there. So I actually had a lot of paint on hand from projects that I've done in the past and I very much MacGyvered all the colors so they are not something that you can find in a store because I just mixed a lot of different colors that we had but these are the ones that I came up with it's essentially like a light beige a pink and an orange but I think it complements the space really well and it's very fun and whimsical so I love the way that it turned out The next thing that I did purchase is this canopy tent. I really love this canopy tent and what drew me to it was the very fairy tale look that it gives and I got it at a really, really great price. It was like less than 20 bucks on Amazon. So I think this was a pretty, a pretty good deal. All I did was take a C hook that I already had. I found a ceiling joist that was pretty close to the corner where I wanted the canopy to hang. And then once I put the canopy tent together, I went ahead and I hung the canopy tent so that it was nice and sturdy. The other thing that I wanted to do to this tent to make it even more fairy tale like was to drape the size. So it was very easy. I just grabbed some Velcro that I had on hand that's adhesive on both sides and I stuck it to the inside of the fabric and I was able to drape and create that look on the sides with the Velcro. I forgot to mention that I also did add some fairy lights to the inside of the canopy just to make it a little extra magical for the kids. Next was adding some bean bags that we already had in the house to the bottom of the tent to make it very cozy. And at first I only had one in there. My kids insisted on putting a second one. So that's what we went with. And we, we have these two cozy bean bags on the bottom ends of the canopy tent. Last but not least, I grabbed a white basket and I filled it with our kids stuffed animals. They're stuffies that they love so much. And the idea here was that they would grab a book, grab a stuffy, cozy up under the tent and read a story to their stuffed animal. Mm -hmm. 
once this space was complete, it was so wonderful to see the kids start to get their books and their stuffies and cuddle up under the tent to read. And I'm looking forward to seeing so many more moments like this unfold during this summer and beyond. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and found some inspiration for a book nook or reading corner in your own home. If you have enjoyed today's video, please be sure to give it a great big thumbs up, a like, that helps to support me and this channel greatly. By the way, I am so thankful to all those who have decided to subscribe and stick with me and be a part of this familia online that we have here on YouTube. I see you, I appreciate you, and I'm so glad to have you here. Take care, be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.